So we're at the Silverstone Sports Engineering Hub today. Again, we're back here with Drag 2 Zero, number one leaders when it comes to like wind tunnel testing. So uh, it's going to be a great day. We've got Claremont going on uh, the rig first. So we're going to do his baseline run, just work out you know like where we are from his fit like yesterday and then the testing that we initially we're going to go through is testing like the stack uh, and the reach of the bike just to see how that feels we've got a good idea of where the position was coming out of the fit but we just want validation from the wind tunnel uh, and then we're going to play around with some of the clothing that claremont's got here today so uh, yeah bring on the testing How are we looking? Yeah, baseline, got his new helmet on. So, uh, initial baseline looks okay. Definitely some work that we can do around the, the setup. I think we can optimize it a little bit more, which will be good. So, uh, results gonna be in the first result that come through. <laughs> And good. My uh, work position is thanks to you. Natural position to roll in. You know, I think you want to try going shorter. Oh, no. We. No shorter. You don't want to go shorter. No. You still feel like you want to roll the pole a bit. You, but if I could make them like this, I don't see it. No. So we've just tested uh, bringing his hands out a little bit wider just so we can see down the road like more efficiently because uh, we're just trying to work out like you know like being aero is about like you know, it lies in the position out on the course really so uh, yeah. How's it looking? It's looking good yeah he's got a sustainable position now uh, and that's understand you know like that's the art of a lot of this is like you go to the experts to do like wind tunnel testing it's not just Get in this position, it, you know, you come out of it and you've got this CDA that's like super low. You understand now to utilize the position a lot more efficiently, uh, and that's the art of getting aero. Every day is a school day, hey Martin. Say again. Every day is a school Every day. Every day is a school day, always learning from a master. That's <laughs> <laughs> true.
What have you been trying? What have you been trying? So we've just tried the bottle down the chest, found again in Forbes, and uh, now we're just trying the bottle between the arms. Like uh, Director Zero created like a new bottle mount that's going to be able to position the uh, the bottle between like the arms. So uh, yeah, we'll see really what that good. brings us. Oh, last test, what are we doing? So uh, we're just coming to the end of uh, Claremont's testing now, and uh, we've just done some skin suit testing, so we've just done like a your sweep uh, and a different, some different speed. Uh, and now we're doing this final final test of the day, really. So we've got a quite a, we've got a powerful and realistic position that we'll be able to utilize like in like the real world. And, and how's the test been on the whole? Yeah, it's been really good. The guys obviously at Drag to Zero, they know that know the score. Uh, they've looked at like all like the fine details. We've come out with some good CDA readings, like what's realistic, and that's the, the biggest thing, isn't it? It's taking you know like the speed and the actual your angle that we're gonna race at. Uh, and that's what yeah the guys have devised really. So uh, all credit mm. to them. Good bike fit, good aero test, it's a win-win combination. It's been very good today, very productive, um, a good mixture of working on positioning work and equipment. With um, Clever, the, the, key, the key really is that a lot of the time it's, um, it's not always about finding the, 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 the faster options, it's about finding the one that's going to be the most sustainable in the real world. And often it's nice to find things where you can clearly see that it's going to be so much more sustainable when riding, but it's not costing you anything in drag. And often it's also good for riders to know that maybe like um, going forwards or back in the reach, what it actually does. So they, when they're training and then considering the power aspects, you can work out you know, what, it, what is the best combination. The, one of the most time consuming things to get right is the, is the cockpit and it's surprising yeah. how, um, you know, we've been designing cockpits for years now and it's really surprising how whilst the window of adjustment is quite small these days compared to how it used to be, how those subtle changes can make such a big difference to how you can relax your shoulders and your neck and your head and find that sustainable and, and fast position. So today we, yeah, we found, we found some, some gains, but at the same time, the most exciting thing, yeah, there might only be a couple of watts quicker, but we know that in reality, they maybe can work 10 or 15 watts because yeah. they're sustainable. So um, just subtle things like some, 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 the roll in the handlebar, the toe, and then the pitch, and the width, all those small changes can make such a difference. If you, you know, if you imagine doing that to yourself and you can feel it on your shoulders, yeah. what a difference all, 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 all those changes can make. So we, we did all that work and then we did some uh, equipment testing as well. It's, it's so worth having a fit before you go into the wind tunnel because you know, there's, there's, there's so many things you can do and the wind tunnel testing is expensive and it, two hours flies by. So to, to cut out a lot of the particular biomechanical stuff, and also that helps when you're doing the session because immediately you can see the rider is nailed, not moving about on the saddle. There's nothing worse than you know arriving, you know having the saddle in the wrong position. You've done no pressure mapping, and you know so you're, they're, they're forever sliding about. And then you're trying to test a, a subtle change on the front end, and you don't know what's going on. So absolutely, I'll do that every time. It works works really really well. And what's up next? So. Uh... Uh, next week we've got uh, Marjolaine, she's, uh, she's going to have an air test, so again we're just going to go, we've got a few protocols that we're, we're going to go through. One of the things that we're aware of, Marjolaine's kind of, uh, like saddle position, she's quite sensitive to, to changes there. Uh, so we're going to try like uh, a higher stack, uh, then we're going to mess around with the reach really. And then there's some uh, items of clothing that she wants to test and some uh, just some bespoke products you want to test like bottle placement and stuff so uh, we'll finish and see what happens so we've got Marjolaine up there I can't pronounce it Marjolaine Marjolaine so we've got Marjolaine up next so uh, yeah she's going to we're going to do a baseline run uh, and then we're going to go for some positional changes around like the front end uh, 
obviously one of the things we've got to be aware of is the sensitivity around the saddle. So at the minute we're feeling a little better being higher and then we'll see if we can yeah, bring the sack up, try and reach and go from there. So uh, yeah. next test, uh, this is test three that we're on now. Uh, basically what we've done is we've uh, brought the pole angle backwards uh, and on the previous one we raised the sat by like 20 mil. So uh, yeah, we're getting a real good CDR, CDA out at the minute. Uh, yeah, one of the best I've seen for a female athlete in triathlon, so it's a, a good sign really. So uh, yeah, keep it rolling. Very consistent and it's good drag. And it's, it, it, the important thing is that you can hold the posi a position that you can hold. Do, do you think that with the arms high that you're, it's more easy to hold the position, or, or would you prefer the arms like, shallow? Is it possible to try like just with this one? Because when it's flat, you can hold it Okay, to go low. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just with this. To remove, remove that. Yeah. yeah we, can, we can try it. We can try it if you want. See. If you want, if you want to see. It's really better. Yeah. Um, it's really better. Okay. In between trying to uh, yeah, exactly. finish Clermont's bike before he flies off. This is the part that no nobody sees. Nine o'clock at night. Uh, we've just gone through a series of tra uh, different helmets. So uh, we've you know the final part of the test now. So uh, yeah. What are you trying for the final bit? So the final bit, we're just doing a, a rerun of uh, some of the helmets. We've tried the the camel back down there. Oh, sorry, the the bottom down the chest. Uh, and the, yeah, we're still finding that the HJC is, yeah, is 
the fastest helmet for her. So uh, it's been a good test. Like the, the CDA that we've got coming out today is one of the best I've seen for a female athlete. Uh, but like most athletes, they always want that a little bit more. But it's like all of this really, like the art of this is that you've got to go away and retrain the body to adapt to it. So uh, that's, the, that's the art of wind tunnel test. You work with the best in the world, you get the best results. But you have to do the own work afterwards. <laughs> So that's the end of a great evening at the Silverstone Sports Engineering Hall. We found some great games for Claremont and uh, Marjolaine, like super impressed. The main thing for them is now that, you know, like we've got to biomechanics, aerodynamics. The hardest part now is going, to be going away and doing all the, the own work, the, you know, from aero specific drills. Knowing how to utilise the position out of the course, like I always work off like three positions really, you know. We've got something that's like just getting to the finish, this more sustainable position. Uh, so when, you know, like you're trying to generate the power then a more aggressive aero position that we can utilise, you know, when we're going downhill or the speeds are a lot higher. And that's what we've, you know, taken from this testing that we've not just chased like the most specific aero set all, we've chased the, a whole array of different positions that we can now utilise. Yesterday always makes a big difference, you know, like it takes, you know, setting all these bikes up, you can just burn through hours. I know some people are trying to do this all in like a couple of hours, but there's no way you can get like specific runs. So initially yesterday we were able to get them to understand the, you know, like the setups and then they could bring that into today's testing. And obviously just really looking at like the biomechanics and you can't do that in a winter month test. You know, like this rig that we're, we're running on is running at around 150 to 200 watts, depending on like, you know, how efficient you, how efficient you are or you are as an athlete. So, uh, but yeah, big day yesterday. That's, we've probably just spent the best part of, uh, I'd say 14 hours with these two athletes. So it all looks, yeah, pretty simple in a 10 minute video. Yeah.